So you see the screen, right? Yeah. So we were uh, understanding the various forms of building visibility for a business. So one was uh, we understood uh, building visibility on the Google Maps, Google business listings. So for example, when you search for something like this, digital, digital marketing uh, course in HSR, in HSR layout. You will see ads like this. Sorry, this is one of the presence, the business listing, the business listing or Google uh, Maps. In the maps also, you will get to see that. So one is organic like this, organic presence, and another one is ads. Okay. So and this is mostly all these kinds of presence is for uh, both for e-commerce as well as for services. But when it comes to products, e-commerce okay you have an another option okay so for example look at this yeah so this one this is not available for all kinds of businesses this is only for products that are sold on the website products physical products okay or even not just physical products even the e-learning uh, materials books it can be anything okay but not for the services okay so if you are a business who is selling product okay uh, you can where people make the payments online and purchase it you can make use of this product listing ads so for this ads you have to first create a merchant center account not just ads the same shows up organically here uh, something like this so this is this is actually ad organically also it gives you the same presence maybe i'll show you it with a different one cold uh, cold pressed season oil online yeah you see these are all for free this is not paid so this is the paid listing and this is for free okay so when you register on google merchant center you can make this kind of presence as well as this kind of presence. The two different kinds of presences can be made by you for your products or for your uh, mainly the product which you are selling. Okay. And apart from this, the normal this is the normal optimization of the website, search engine optimization. So, how does this product show up here? What should we do in order to show up the products here? Okay. So you are not supposed to write a letter to Google asking them to show your products on a Google like this, right? You, it's the, there is no option to give a call, phone call to Google and tell Google please to show the products on services like this, right? So Google has created a convenience or built a platform for you to manage your business ads or listings on Google like this. You can use the tool or a software which is called as Google Merchant Center. Okay, merchants.google.com is how you visit your account. So if you don't have an account, you're going to sign up. It's as simple as you signing up a Facebook account or you signing up account on Zomato or Big Basket or maybe any other platform on the website. Once you sign up, okay, so there's so many options which you might have to understand in order to use this tool. Okay, since this is already uh, uh, in use, we already have listings for one of the business. We can start exploring it from different sections as well. Okay. And we will see how do we uh, provide this list. First thing we'll, we'll, we'll understand how do we provide these details to Google. Okay. So for this, on this tool, you have to go to the feeds. Okay. So when you click on plus, so see, see here already there are feeds submitted. Yeah. Okay. See feed has got different options. So one is you can upload a update the data on Excel sheet and you can submit it here like this. I'll show it to you. data from Google Sheets. Okay. 
okay so what we have to do is so they they will they will provide you a format so in that format you have to update all your product related information okay so product id your product will have some id that information second is the title the third is description the link so look at this left bottom you could see the link cold press donut oil right condition price availability uh, gtins global trade identity number uh, this is all the terminology used in the e-commerce okay uh, mpn is something like that but which is not compulsory you don't have to use but we'll see what is this mpn also uh, brand is the uh, company name or the brand of products brand uh, google products category so it will be selected as food items okay and one more thing you need to provide the image url as well yeah image link here look at this so this is an image this is a individual image okay so you have to provide image link image image and the product when someone clicks on it they will be landed on respective product page this product page and along with that you have to also provide all the details that you want to show up here see for example you see the name of the product you see the price you see the brand right same details are being uploaded here if you look at this okay so this way we are submitting details related to 1700 products okay so it looks like there are some duplicates as well but that's okay so this way you can submit as many number of products as you want okay so you can do it based on the keywords as well not just the products based on the keywords as well okay and once you update all the details here you just have to click on fetch now so look at this i'm clicking on fetch now and it automatically see last fetch was on december 5th and today again december 29th it shows the date as december 29th now after once i refresh this your feed is set up correctly and the product data can be used across multiple merchant center features to see all issues go to diagnostic so this way we are going to submit the product let me reload this and you might see a different date so we have to compile all the details one second okay yeah so you could see here now december 29th 2023 12 50 56 pm okay so okay now this will start showing see after submitting the details here so eventually slowly it will start showing the details here or in the ads if you have launched a campaign shopping ad campaign which we have seen while launching the ad campaigns okay so here showing up here again depends on how frequently your products are updated how a uh, lot of factors are considered to show up your product here okay but this is one way to show up here so usually shopping it shows up here whatever you submit here in this format now this tool is an interface between you and google okay it's an application that's creating convenience for you to accept all your details and then later whichever whatever it has received through this platform it starts showing up here on this search okay so there's so many brands as well who have submitted so when competition is high you you and you you, you, you might have to bid a lot on uh, we have to uh, keep, keep, keep uh, doing the ads we have to uh, be very active on the ad parts so considering all of that the brand the presence a lot of things play a role in showing your ad cold press season white season let me put it as white i'm not sure how many are selling it and definitely uh, this is not doing ads this company which i want to show you uh, maybe if oh, sorry The listing is also not showing see look at this 
uh, this company Kandra Foods has paused their ads, shopping ads. They were doing ads here. Since that it has paused, its organic presence also has impact. I don't know, maybe uh, or maybe their WordPress website has some issues, and that can also be the problem where the products may not be uh, shown. Or let me search for something else. showing up here so products of low competition are shown up here okay okay so next is you have submitted it's all clear right for all of you this is how we submit the products okay so next you can uh, and look at this here you can see what's happening with your products the, the, the way details about your products you have submitted the excel sheet or spreadsheet uh, and you can see all your submitted products, various kinds of details around it. Okay, so this is the price of the product, click potential. So it can get a lot of clicks for your business. Sanna Pusa in Bangalore, unpaid clicks, clicks. See, since the ads are paused, they are getting very few organic clicks. Earlier uh, data, it had a lot of details or information. Okay. So one more thing I have missed out. So one way is submitting the spreadsheet like that. Second method is we can pick an option website crawl. So the bot itself crawls and gets the information by itself. That is second method. Third method is your e-commerce platform and this Google Merchant Center both can be connected. Automatically whenever you launch any product automatically it will be pulled here okay so if your website is a wordpress one wordpress website if you are on wordpress using woocommerce you have a application which automatically pushes all the feed data here it's just that you have to install the application on your wordpress website one of the plugin and the plugin automatically you have to link in link the i this account and that one authenticate that's all authenticate connect the email id and that account and automatically whenever you publish any product automatically it starts getting the data here okay so these are the three methods of providing data or information to your merchant center okay and under the all product section you will get to see certain kinds of details around your product okay how many clicks are you getting how is the potential okay so the data source okay a quick brief or summary of your products so diagnostic di diagnostics is a section where you get to read what's happening with your submitted products okay see 251 products got disabled okay let me select this one and unselect all other details 251 243 disapproved so disapproved can happen for various reasons so price mismatch or images will have a icon or logo a brand logo so various reasons see promotional overlay on the image promotional overlay is on your product you will have the your business logo that is not accepted mismatch mean value so the price or maybe other kinds of details would have got mismatched so this is the section where you understand all these details and attempt to rectify or verify and uh, uh, bring back the visibility of those products okay so no one is looking into this and it's been not addressed okay so 1700 are submitted of which 215, 251 are gone, hence it's 14, 88 products are active, okay, and accordingly you can take action on all of this, view examples, it shows the examples, why it has, so let's let's go to this, you will see a logo, see, see this, you see logo, Kandra puts, okay, so that is not accepted, okay, and it has given you sample list of all the URLs, which has the logo and got this approved, okay, so in order to get this approved, you have to remove this. You have to remove this and upload the images. Okay. Should not be there. You should not have the logo or the image. Okay. Okay. So that is one problem. So let's see the other problems. So next is mismatched value. So 62. We have examples. What is the mismatch here? Okay. So now. The data that you have submitted on your Google Sheet, the price could be 200 rupees 
and but when you go to the website it will be 250 rupees something else so that's the mismatch of data okay so let's take this 210 is what you're showing here right and what is this social paper Amle ka achar, amla ka achar, amla India ticket. So there is some mismatch with the numbers, maybe uh, 109.76, let's see how much it is. See 109.76 and it is here 168, correct? Here look at this, 100 and submitted details, 109.76. And here it is 168 so this way there could be some mismatch with the numbers okay so that's how it gets disapproved and then the other reason mismatch value page crawl price availability see here availability is a mismatch here the price is a mismatch at one place you have put in stock and another place you have put out of stock that's why it's saying availability is an issue here price is an issue okay Image not crawled due to robot.txt blocked. So images are being blocked by robot.txt. Let's see how are these images. So on this, okay, okay. So these are all, these are all not through the feed, website crawl feed. See website has been crawled and they, they, they it has attempted to take the products automatically but what is the issue here issue is not crawled due to robots.txt it's been blocked by the image url has been blocked by robots.txt inconsistent value page crawl availability Most price mismatch price is this price inconsistent maybe out of stock in stock inconsistently done something like that. Okay. Restricted parameters health care and medicine. It's, it's been a car attributing these two products as a different category and those kinds of product product category are not accepted so it's misunderstanding these things to be as some medicine some related to healthcare okay this one may have to be uh, okay healthcare and medicines local legal requirements and safety standards live and health so i don't know what is this product so this is peanut burfi Yeah, stating the reason, local legal requirements and safety standards. 
I don't know, something. So, so it, it makes a wrong assumption as well sometimes. So we have to, so there is a way to uh, rectify as well, uh, fix that as well. Low image quality, dangerous products, dangerous recreational drugs and drug related uh, equipment. Uh, what is this again? Roasted cumin seeds powder. See how it's misunderstanding some of the products based on the terms that are put in it. Dangerous of irrigation. Low image quality. You have to fix the images. Value truncated. Too long description. Gone. Just with the long description. Limited performance due to missing value GTIN. So some of the products are not performing properly and it has blocked it, disapproved it. Restricted adult content. So all uh, Pakoda, Pakodi looks like that's been uh, based on the terms it's categorizing it as a adult content. So that's why it's it has disapproved. Excessive capitalization. Missing value. Description is missing. Only one. Images may be disapproved soon due to robots.txt. These are the different reasons why the products got disapproved. A person who is working on this have to pay attention to all of these issues and should start fixing all of this one by one. And that's how again these gets approved. Okay. And uh, this is a section where you study the performance of your products. Okay. So this tool is very simple to handle and understand. Yeah. So, uh, but then it needs attention. It needs attention regularly. Okay. So it might disapprove products and uh, the potential is significant. It's huge. You can see we have added only 1700 uh, uh, rows here in this sheet. You can go up to 1 lakh also. You can add as many as possible, right? And your website, will, your products will start showing up on the Google for all those searches. Yeah. So look at this 71 products, non products website results. Okay. So what is this data? So you are getting nearly. 70 visits every day from this kind of listing this kind of listing it could be here under the shopping or under this section so see look at this from this kind of listing organic listing it's not paid listing it's an organic listing from that kind of listing look at this you have got 77 visits on 28th of December and 529 visits from this kind of listing normal search results from this kind of listing you have got 500 plus visitors and from this kind of listing organic this is paid organic it might show up here yeah see look at this this is organic from this kind of listing you are getting only 77 clicks okay see fact is from that kind of listing you were getting nearly 500 visits 300 400 500 visits every day and just because nobody is doing anything not paying attention not working on this and it has dropped okay <coughs> we'll see last one it is how it was doing yeah you could see here look at this the graph clearly shows you are getting nearly 300 visits for product and products you see here products blue is products green is non products just product visits were around 300 visits every day okay and this was around 800 900 visits every day and now it has dropped significantly right so it needs an attention certain amount of attention see organic visits without ads just it has 1 lakh visits ads every day ads were also getting somewhere around 500 600 visits and now look at this 70 percentage drop ads are also being paused paused campaigns are paused okay 
so this is the overview of your account what people are searching for on google grocery the category wise okay and now here product performance can be stated here which product is getting clicks and what kind of clicks it's contributing for see a lot of clicks for chicken pickle kaju burfi white sesame seeds kajaya in bangalore kaju burfi categories of your product most of the products are being categorized as food beverages and tobacco and those products are getting some are been some are not been categorized some are categorized as media some are categorized as home and garden some are health and beauty okay so it's just showing the same right and country wise from india you have this many visits are from different countries different number of visits competitive visibility okay so for the products that you have listed uh others are also showing the other players showing same kinds of products or maybe for wherever you are showing up even these players are showing businesses with similar visibility on google so same kind of visibility they have got like that of your business discover sellers with similar consumer visibility showing their products next to yours on google next to yours on google okay so whenever you are making a presence all these brands are also making presence next to you okay for example something like this right so you have made a presence here let's assume let's assume this is yours and now there are other brands or companies also have made presence so that's the competitive visibility details here businesses with highest visibility on google so whenever your product is queried various other brands or players are also showing up and most of the times these are getting the highest visibility because they are well known brands they are well funded brands they are investing lot they have very big marketing teams right consistently every day performing activities on this tools and then market demand it also shows which all products are been how many of your products are popular on google none of the products are popular from this seller your popular brands on google see zomato sorry uh, big basket sells so many brand products let's take mdr achi or maybe any any brand you take so all the it shows which brand is popular on google related to your business top selling products on google these are the top selling go back and rosemary dried leaves nutra red rosemary dried leaf i don't know what is this rosemary dried leaves vs products rosemary indian indiana as offered by nature rosemary dried leaves season sun spicings how is it growing or performing essential blends condiments brands which are selling season sun spices these are all growing these brands condiments and sauces igp honey veda the little pop co prakritik see this gives some insights who all are becoming popular in these brands cooking and baking ingredients big basket maybe you will say big no big basket priyam food cr and hammer shiva organic art vatika excel pharma right so they are they are showing the competitors by the the play, well performing players by categories types of products right pricing insight on the pricing of your products will appear it does not insight so it, it should ideally show up the uh, pricing in comparison with other sellers promotions ads or been passed eight clicks 414 impressions in the last 180 days there were no ads executed 180 days is almost 6 months right so you got clicks for this products non product website results website results also have dropped from 1000 visits it has dropped to 300 visits 60% drop you could see the graph this is not products so this platform or enterprise is also helping you understand what's happening with your website results okay so it it, it seems to uh, be comparing this recent 180 days with the previous 180 days 
and initially did good and again it fell down. CUTR has a significant drop. Okay, uh, it's all easy to understand this product or interface. Okay, so this is the place where you can uh, uh, publish the products with promotions or the products with promotion information. Okay. We haven't set up any. We will we'll try doing something here. So let's come to VM. Okay, you see uh, the percentage of free gift, free shipping. So this gets applied to your products when you show the products. Okay, so these kinds of promotions can be attributed or tagged to your products. Not creating any for now. Product reviews. So, like, how you attribute? Uh, the promotional information to your products same way the reviews information can be added to your products let's see uh, let us come back products review configuration Okay, so the script has to be added to the website. Okay, and uh, so let's read this information. Important opt in integration is required. Set up for Google customer reviews. The program won't work on your site and surveys will not be offered unless this step has been completed. So, until and unless you finish this, you will not configure the reviews for your products. Okay, the opt in integration lets Google display the Google customer reviews opt in on your site and offer service to customers who have opted in this program. Okay, so it allows people to submit the reviews for the products on the Google dashboard itself. Before getting started, verify that you have reviewed the Google customer reviews policies and complete the integration requirement for opt in. Your shopping cart and checkout pages must be hosted on the same domain. The confirmation page must be hosted on your own domain. Doc type HTML must be added to top of every web page. Once verified, follow the integration integrations to add the code snippet below to your order confirmation page and customize the variables as needed. Okay, so when someone makes the payment on the website, it takes them to a new page. Order successful, order complete. On that page, the script has to be added. Okay, so whenever someone makes a payment, the script automatically gets fired. Okay. So, and instructions to add the code snippet below to your order confirmation page and customize the variables as needed. This snippet integration will allow Google to display the Google customer reviews opting on your website. Okay. So, after adding this, it starts displaying the reviews of your products. See, on your products already there could be uh, reviews. But if it has to show up on below your products, you have to add this code to your you have to verify certain things and their verification method is they are asking you to add this code to the success page. So what we do is the payment success page. So we will ask our developers to, we will send this link with instructions to the developers and they will be adding it to the website and alternative this step, mainly this step. And alternative method is there will be a plugin if you are on WooCommerce. You can do this by installing a plugin. Okay, you all got it right. Okay, so optional use the badge to display your participation in the Google customer review program as well as show your seller rating on your site. 
to get started add the code separate below to any page on your website and customize the variables as needed so you can add a batch rating batch for your products by adding this piece of code to all your web pages after the code separate has been added verify the batch that attach text of your web center on your site Let's see how that looks. Yeah, something. Displayed rating values will vary. So batch, the Google customer reviews DCR batch code is the first top two codes for fit that you implement for Google customer reviews integration. The batch is optional if you have any issues in Google Customer Support or Operation. Okay. It shows up something like this. Okay. okay. So from this section, you can run the ads. So it's saying no access to the link to Google Ads account. But actually, we have linked it. I'll show it to you here. Um, account access linked accounts. Linked accounts, you could see here, one of the Google Ads account will be linked here. Yeah, you see here, it says active. Okay, so after linking it, what happens is this information, you will be able to pull in this product to the Google Ads account. And you'll be able to launch a campaign by using this product list. So we call all products, you see all products here, all products, this products, we call it as a product list. And all these products can be pulled to Google Ads account if you link the Google Ads account. Okay, so here. Okay, so link account and you can link it in a new account. So display and video 360, so there is a display network. And if you have so display accounts, you can create an account and you can link business profile, Google business profile. Okay, it's been already linked. Manufacturer center. So as a manufacturer, you can have a manufacturer account. There is a manufacturer account like how you have merchant center accounts that will be a manufacturer account as well but nothing is happening with this manufacturer account but simply it's linked partners and platforms other various partner websites i don't know which are all this yeah ship heroes ship, ship process other shipping uh, use the platform to link to your merchant center accounts These are all various other platforms. Maybe I, I have no clue like what, what how it's going to benefit by linking it to these accounts. Let's see link and manage partners and platforms such as e-commerce store builders, payment and shipping providers, agencies and more to make it easier to manage your merchant center. So probably the data like so how many visits are they getting. So this kind of data gets passed to the platform. Okay. See when we link this platform, this tool and other tools, the main goal or objective is to refer the data whatever has been shown here on those respective platforms. It can be anything. So if I'm linking it to Google Ads, my main goal is to get the product feed. If I'm linking it with something else, my goal, main goal is, will be to understand how many clicks are coming in. Correct? So these are the different objectives or goals that are achieved by linking it with the different platforms. Okay. So here, uh, have we gone through this already? Opportunities, more observations, price competitiveness. So through this account, if you are making sales, uh, sorry, this is actually the sales happening for 
various kinds of product from different different sellers. These are no more related to you. It's just showing the information who all are selling using this merchant center accounts, right? So best sellers, my fitness peanut butter, best seller, Fagaro olive oil, Kellogg's Cadbury Daily Milk Silk, right? Auto inventory price page. Okay. You see, we can plan to sell these products based on the learnings from here, from this section. Okay. So that's how this is useful. Talk all these products that you have seen, right? So those are all sold by some brands such as Cadbury, Amul, Tata, Pearls and Petals, IGP, Kellogg, My Fitness, Doggo, Yahoo, Sofola, Maggi, Nescafe. See, you know, uh, these companies will be spending several crores every month, anywhere between 10 crores to 100 crores also. Okay, maybe at least one crore. You see, you, you, you don't see, uh, see, these are all the biggest uh, manufacturer brands. If you observe this, yeah, and they are the best sellers and their top products, those brands are selling these products. So uh, this is a section where you can enable your, uh, so basically you are enabling various kinds of uh, uh, appearances for your products. So free listing on Google, enabled, shopping ads, for ads something like this, it's enabled, okay, and dynamic remarketing. So the same kind of listing you must have seen on different websites also sometimes. So that is dynamic remarketing. So that is enabled, but it's not active. Okay, so once you have a remarketing campaign launched, it shows it's active. Customer reviews, it's enabled. And the word is this free local product listings, it's not enabled. Local inventory ads, it's not enabled. Promotions enabled, products rating enabled. Retail API organizations now have the ability to provide Google quality search and recommendations on their own. Digital property helping to increase conversions and reduce search abandonment. See, these features are not available for all the countries. These are available only in certain countries and they have provided a list of those countries. Retail API organizations now have the ability to provide Google quality search and recommendations on their own digital properties helping to increase conversion rates. So, um, I'll show you how that works. Yes, 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 locations, countries, countries, codes, or bonds. I'll show you something. You see a Google search page here on this website. This is Learn and Thrive and on this website a Google search page is showing up. Correct? And, and if you observe this, all these results are pertaining to this website. Okay, now I'll show you one more search. show the ads okay so this page 
ideally shows results pertaining to this website only. But ads, when it comes to ads, it can show web, uh, ads pertaining to any website also. Okay, so exactly something like that can be enabled through these options, retail API. But instead of listings like this, it shows the uh, product listing. Okay. Shopping experience scorecards. Okay, this is mostly for your. So some of the options or features are not available for all the countries. They are restricted to a few countries. But nothing. We ignore this for now. Shopping experience scorecard. Okay, and apart from this, we have explored everything else. This is the main uh, interface. Speed uploads one older than three days, three days one. A quick summary of whatever we have discussed till now. You are getting every day some 70 clicks from the product listing ads. Yeah. So, any questions? Understanding it all. Okay. So this is not useful to all the businesses, mainly businesses who are into e-commerce. Okay. So product listing ads is super useful. Businesses make see this is cheaper. So one more thing is, so if you want to show ads like this, an ad like this might cost let's assume fifty rupees or sixty rupees, but an ad like this would cost. 2 rupees to 5 rupees, sometimes 1 rupee 50 pesos or 30 pesos also. Okay, so for some of the brands, for some of the players, we execute ads at just 30 pesos, 60 pesos, 1 rupee maximum. Okay, maybe slightly beyond that also in some cases, but if you have to show ads like this, it might cost at least 20 to 70 rupees or bare minimum for the same product. What you are already showing here, if you want to show here, if you are launching a search ad, it's expensive going to cost more okay you got it this is organic page listing so that's why you have to uh, make use of this google merchant center even if you submit services it is going to disapprove only for product selling okay any product it can be electronic products food products any product books soft copies downloadable files as well okay you can use google merchant center okay so if there are no questions we'll wind it up for today yeah and uh, from next class we'll start with first set of topics